16 Candles. 16 Candles stars Molly Ringwald and some more people. Yep, I, do I know the actor's, uh, the actor's name in the movie? No, I don't. Uh, do, am I, do I care? No, I do not. The movie came out in like 1986. You don't know who was in there by now? Pretty sure you're not going back to look. Okay? I'm bad with names. So I'm, I'm, I'm sticking with what you're good at. And that's me talking about the movie. Not remember actors, actors or actresses' names. All right. Anyway, this movie is about a girl in high school who was her 16th birthday and nobody remembers. And she likes to guy. Now listen, I watched this, and I watched Weird Science today. Weird Science to me was really super good. This was kind of like I didn't really like it. I think it started off strong, got slow, and then cut some stuff at the end. I'm just like, wait, how is you okay, okay with that? Cool. But anyway, let me get out the whole thing. Like I said, she's 16 year old girl. Nobody remember her birthday. She has like a sister's. Because her sister's wedding the next day, and it's pretty much her sister's getting all the attention right now. She, but she just still wonder why nobody, her brothers, her sisters, her mama, her grandma, her grandparents, her dad, nobody remember her damn birthday. She goes to school. She pretty much sad, and she's in class writing a letter about how she ever had sex. She's like, no. And it's the letter. Then on the letter, she also has. Who, if you could have sex with one person, who would it be? She wrote the guy's name. His name was like Jake Ryan or something like that. Two first names. I don't know why he got two first names. But anyway, he ends up, he's a senior in the class of sophomore. That kind of, I was wondering, like, why is he still taking that class? Kind of something that, you know what I'm saying? They never addressed in the story. But she was trying to pass it back, the letter back to her friend. Friend sleep, so she just dropped the paper. <laughs> she never turned around to see if her friend got the paper at all. Okay. <laughs> Mistake number one, first of all. Jake's sitting at the seat behind her next to her friend. Jake picks up the damn paper. She never sees Jake. Jake literally has to lean all the way up at his desk. I'm talking about to where the damn, the damn front of the desk, damn near touching the blind just to grab the damn paper. He has to slide it back. She hears none of this, okay? <laughs> she hears none of this. Jake reads it. Jake is going out I get pretty much like, I guess they're going to say, how they say, the hottest, I never use that word, the hottest girl in school. But for some reason, Jake is getting tired of her and he's getting intrigued with Samantha. I don't know what the fuck is up with Jake. And the crazy thing, Samantha's like, oh, I love when your parents are out of town. Jake's parents are out of town in this movie. Samantha's ready to go to his house. He's, I mean, not Samantha. His old lady, whatever his old lady's name is, ready to go to his house. He's worried about Samantha. Jake, what in the fuck is wrong with you, man? First of all, she's 16. All right, Jake, I'm pretty sure your girl is 18. Because Jake's 18, all right? What? Also, okay, also, you, you got my boy Brian back in this. Brian or... I, I, or you can call him Gary. You know what I'm saying? I've got his actual name, Anthony Hall, some shit like that. He was in Breakfast Club. Like I said, he was in Weird Science. He's my boy. At this point, he's my boy. And then he's the cool nerd. He's super nerdy. Like, he's a nerd, but he's the coolest amongst the nerds. You know what I'm saying? You, know, you always got that one nerd. And he think he, and he, think he played. I fuck with it. I, he think he played. I still, I was watching it on, on, I was on Snap. He pull up on Samantha the, the entire movie trying to get her number. There's one time <laughs> that was we'll see where they send you the call at this at, at, at this dance, at which Samantha's uh pretty much crying about again once again because she wants to talk to Jake and Jake's with his girl. <sighs> but my boy's getting on her nerves though. My, my boy. I think his name might be Ted. I think his name might be Ted. I, th I, I looked up the cast and had geek number one. I swear, I looked up the cast to this and they literally had geek number one. <laughs> one for my boy's character though. But anyway, him and uh, Samantha had a scene in a car and he's just talking to her. And my boy goes for his move. He literally lifts his leg up and tries to climb on top of her and start kissing. She turns my boy down. 
He does it again in the next 15 seconds. I said, what in the hell is this guy doing? This guy got some, he got some confidence. I give him that. He's like the kid that'll get beat up and, and scared of that. But like, he got some confidence when it comes to talking to certain girls. I guess it's certain girls that he like. Also, then he proceeds to pull it, try to pull his dick out on him. I said, this nigga. I said, I fuck with him. I fuck with him, cause my boy don't care. He out you just for the winning. But then he ultimately talks to Jake, and Jake some kind of way wants Samantha now. Why I don't know, but and he and and my boy ends up with uh, Jake's girlfriend some kind of way. I don't know how that happens. And it's, it's some stuff just starts to happen, and then ultimately you have this whole storyline with Samantha's sister getting married to this Italian guy. Some kind of way she showed up to the wedding drunk. I don't know what the fuck happened with that. It was, it was like, toward the end, it got kind of like crazy. I'm like, okay, what the fuck is going on? That's what, that's what the movie kind of lost. I ain't gonna say lost. Yeah, it kind of lost me towards the end. I'm like, okay, y'all tripping. Like, what the, what is, what is this? Why are you doing that? Why are you here? Okay, and, and there, there's only one person who addresses it. Well, there's actually two people. There's her mother and her father. Her father comes in later on the night when she gets home from everything, and she she tries to that she tries to uh, well he he tells her like I'm sorry we forgot your birthday. It's all this stuff going on. She's like it's okay. I'm, I'm just sorry. And her dad like something's wrong. She like it's a guy. And he yeah, he said like it's a guy. She like yeah. And he think is she's mad because her sister getting married to some dude, and that's not it. She mad, but she thinking about Jake Roberts, who apparently she didn't tell her daddy was a senior. She's 16 and a sophomore. He's 18 and a senior. Also, there's a scene where he picks her up in front of her daddy and drives off with her. And she's telling her that, she's like, this is him. I would have been like, I don't give a fuck who he is. You ain't getting in that damn car. And he and she went back to his house. And he had a little birthday cake with candles. He just, he finna fuck her. I, I'm just sitting there thinking, he finna fuck her. He probably gonna end up dumping her, too. He finna fuck She 18, she, he's sick that. He getting tired of the same, you know what I'm saying, the same one he been having. He getting tired of his girlfriend, so he needed something new. And she wanted him bad. She already wrote the letter saying she, if she could fuck anybody, it would be him. Of course, she finna give us that ass. He's saying he not finna use it for that ass. But first thing he sees from her is a letter talking about she want to fuck. So you think that boy not finna hit that ass? Ain't she the verse? And her daddy didn't say nothing. She he saw her getting in the car. Like, what is you doing? I could never see my I see my daughter get in a car with a dude. What is you, what is you doing? I'm knocking on the car window with the pistol. Get out. What is what? No. What the, bro? <laughs> like I said, man, some stuff went in here. It had some funny moments. But overall, I felt like what's name cried too. So I had to whine too much about like like less. Like she could have like I mean Brian celebrated her birthday since I was eleven. <laughs> like really. I okay, I take that back. I take that back. I went to Vegas for my twenty first birthday, but it was me by myself. It's not like I was uh, I I haven't celebrated a birthday. Nobody's like did anything special for my birthday since I was eleven. Bro, this girl sixteen and she's talking about my sixteenth birthday is all the most important. What? Right, she's just she's just whining a little bit too much for me, yeah. And 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 I, her, some stuff just didn't seem realistic. Cause my bo first of all, Jake let my boy I can't think of his name use his daddy Bentley. No, I'm not take that back. When he in the Bentley, it was a Rolls Royce drop top. No license. He said, "Oh, he said." He said, Jack, I ain't got no license. I trust you. You just met this dude tonight. What? How do you trust it? What the fuck? Stop. Stop. 
I still think you should watch it because my boy Funny is here. All the things with him, Funny is here. Any play is for, but he a nerd. Y'all know I fuck with nerds. Technically a nerd, but I can get away with any side. Pretty much. Like, I'm welcome anyway. <laughs> so, anyway, the funny movie, like I said, some of the stuff in it kind of threw me off. I'm like, really, what the fuck, bro? But it's still worth checking out. Uh, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel for more movie reviews. Uh, like I said, one, one of these days I'll come up with a grade scale and another title for this stuff. But till now, you have what you have. Bye-bye.